Okay, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, so, I already have the short block assembled, but this video is gonna be about me assembling this short block. So, uh, I mean, it takes no time at all to assemble this thing. So, but uh, I really wanted to use the six. So like I said, I had cylinder heads and everything already ready for it. But with the crack in the block, uh, I'm gonna address that issue later because we're running out of time and I really want to have everything together, make a few test passes before April 9th shows up uh, with the YouTubers call out race. So I'm in the process of trying to get some heads for this 5.3. Um, still don't know if they're gonna happen in time. So I might end up just throwing the old 799s back on there. They ran great. Like I said, the only issue we had with the car, why the motor came out in the first place, because I blew oil out of the rear main seal. So with that rear main seal replaced, and um, we going to, got new piston rings installed. Uh, it should alleviate the issue. And I have a new catch can as well, which, you know, should help with all that crankcase pressure. Uh, so we need to get that installed and take care of once I get everything else back in the car. Uh, but yeah, so today we're gonna go through everything. I'm gonna show you how I put these pistons uh in there how i measured the old school way with the plastic gauge so comment subscribe hit that bell for notifications so you can be you know notified when newer content come out all right let's go let's get it so i got this piston ring compressor uh here as well so this should make sliding the pistons in there, super easy. Should. Sure. It's four or three of All right, so this is piston number two. This is what goes on this side. So you got, I gotta take this bearing out. You have these lock here, you just push up on it. Like that. And the bearing will come out. So now I'm gonna wipe inside down here and put the new bearing on top of it. You put a new bearing in it the same way, a uh, lube on there. I use Lucas, that's just what I've been using for years, so I continue to use it. I haven't seem to have a problem with it. Uh, the top ring needs to be facing away from the wrist pan, which is this way, the bottom ring face on this side of the wrist pan towards the front of the engine. And then your oil rings, the bottom one or the top one should be over here. And the other one should be on that side. And then the butt should be back here. So this one looks good. And slide this one in. Getting this bad boy in there. There we go. So the closer she go to the bottom, the more it's gonna get. There you go in there. There we go. Bad. That hole that was in there. All right, so we checked the bearing clearances by I put a piece of plastic gauge on there, and then I'm just gonna put this on old school way. So I put this on. Got my bearing caps the same way. All right, and then Big Bertha. Right here where we smushed that uh, looks to be on the widest part all right guys so i did realize 
I did realize that I put the plastic gauge on the wrong end. It was supposed to be on the rod end, not the cap end, because the torque's gonna mess with it a little bit. So I'm rechecking them all. Now putting it in the rod end. So let's torque it down and see where it goes. Two point zero zero two two thousand. So in there. A little bit more than that. So somewhere in between 0.15 and 0.2, right, on the rod side. So that's good. All right, down to the last two pistons. And I'll put the bearings in once they get in there. Once I get them in there, because they tend to fall out. Uh. Sometimes when I'm knocking it in. So this made it super easy. So just drop it in here. This is for the 380 bore. Make sure the rings get inside. All right. And then what we do is just drop it in. Be good to go. A love tap here. in there just get heavier and heavier now for my piston here So it's good to go. She's back together. I said I need to put, go ahead and get all my, uh, let me get my head studs back in there. There. The only reason I didn't take these out because I couldn't unscrew them out by hand. These came out by hand. So I got my plastic bag. I'm gonna put these all back in there. So all the thing we're waiting on right now for this is cylinder heads. But if I don't get the out the market cylinder heads in time. Uh, I'm going to just put the 799s back on with new head gaskets, of course. Throw this back in the car, put everything back together, and go run it and see what happens. And hopefully, we should make a decent pass. And the only thing we can do is find out. Because, like I said before, we are running out of time, and I got to get this back together because I'm going to make this race. Okay. So, again, make sure y'all hit that bell for notifications and comment down below. And uh, make sure you subscribe. We'll see you later. Have a good one.